Let's get more on tomorrow's action tonight. 30 seconds on the clock. Our guests tonight will tell us what they think will move the markets tomorrow, what you need to be focused on. And we've got the best of the business, the street Stephanie Link, James Advantage Fund's David James, and United Realty Partners' Jacob Friedman. Stephanie, we kick it off with you. 30 seconds on the clock. What do you want to watch tomorrow? Okay, three companies that are reporting earnings. I'll try and get it all in. iPaper, they are the largest paper uh, manufacturer. Very good read on the global economies. And I think the guidance is going to be conservative. I would be a buyer, I like the cash flow story. Borg Warner, Auto Parts, they're going to lower guidance. I'd be a buyer on weakness because I like the product cycle story there. Uh, and Starbucks will get a global read on the consumer. And I think at 22 times earnings, it's starting to get interesting. And we'll talk to Howard Schultz from Starbucks as well on the closing bell. Thanks, Stephanie. Right. David, you're up. 30 seconds on the clock. What do you want to watch tomorrow? Well, Maria, we think the big headline number is going to be the durable goods number, but what people should really be focusing on is the capital goods number. Uh, when we take this number and throw out what's happening with air and defense, it gives us really good clues on what's happening with the economy. These are products that are used to make other products, and our research says that if we get a big negative number there, we're four times more likely to see an economic contraction in our future. Uh, and if it's a negative number, does that impact the markets, durable goods number? It, it really should. We would expect bonds to be a great place to be. All right, we'll leave it there. Jacob, you are up. 30 Thanks. seconds on the clock. What do you watch for tomorrow? Thanks. We're watching for the uh, pending home sale index numbers. They were up 5.9% last month. We expect that they're going to be up again this month. If they are, we think there's some momentum in the um, residential arena. Uh, we think there's still great buying opportunities. Obviously, the market is down considerably over the, the height of the market. And so there's opportunities to buy and we're seeing lots of foreign investors coming into the market to buy some of those high priced departments like Sandy Wiles 88 million dollar penthouse. All right we will leave it there. Thank you so much everybody. We appreciate your insights on tomorrow. We'll certainly come back to you and be watching all of the developments. Thanks guys. My